I'm Ian Somerville and I'm going to continue my series of videos on critical infrastructure by talking in this video about SCADA systems, the key software element in critical infrastructure control. Just let me remind you what I was talking about in my previous video on infrastructure control. Individual control elements such as valves, switches and motors are controlled by programmable logic units, PLUs, and these send signals to turn these elements on or off. Programmable logic units are connected via network to a central control system, and this is the SCADA system. As well as programmable logic units, there are also remote terminal units, sometimes called remote te telemetry units, RTUs, that simply collect data and send that to the central system. SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, and it's the name given to a class of systems that are used for large-scale industrial control. Why is SCADA important? Well, SCADA is really important because it is basically the fundamental control system for all of our physical infrastructure. So everything from trains through to sewage works are controlled by SCADA systems. These coordinate and manage the PLCs in that network. If there's a problem with the SCADA system, it can cause widespread disruption. So if a SCADA system issues the wrong commands, it can cause unwanted behaviour in the physical infrastructure so that water is released when it shouldn't be re released, electricity <coughs> switches are, are on when they should be off and so on. If the problem is one of unavailability, that is the SCADA system fails, then we lose the ability to control that infrastructure and generally safety systems kick in at that stage and shut it down. So what is SCADA? Well, SCADA is, you can think of SCADA as a kind of architectural pattern for a class of industrial control systems. And SCADA systems have a set of PLCs and RTUs, which are used in the field to control equipment and gather information from them. They have a, what's in SCADA terms is an HMI, a human machine interface, so the ability to display that information to operators and they have a, the ability to issue commands to the systems in the field. SCADA was originally based on industrial control protocols. Now that's, in, that's important because it doesn't use or it originally didn't use standard internet protocols. So a SCADA system is a, is a type of system, it's not a specific system and, and what has happened is that different manufacturers of controlled equipment have introduced SCADA control systems in their areas. So we can get specific SCADA systems for areas such as electricity power generation and transmission, water processing and management, railways, mass transit, traffic lights and motorways, buildings, facilities and the environment, and manufacturing. Now SCADA has been around for a while. It started originally in the 1970s with centralised systems where the control system and the controlled elements and the PLCs associated with them were hardwired into a central con control computer. This was the earliest SCADA system. They were confined to a single site. There was no external networking. Now this meant, and this is quite important, that there was no way in which these systems could actually be accessed from outside that site, so they were fairly secure. The second generation of SCADA systems were networked, but they, they used particular industrial pro control protocols. So we could have a distributed system with the, the PLCs spread over an area, but they were connected via these special purpose protocols to the SCADA system. These were not widely known. 
However, the systems were a bit less secure simply because they were networked, but the operators were relatively confident in their security because of the difficulties in penetrating these industrial control networks. The third generation of SCADA systems were introduced from about 2000 onwards. And these were the first SCADA systems to be connected to the internet and to communicate using internet protocols. This sometimes happened through PCs that were associated with the system that may be used for, uh, for use the, the user interface. And these were often connected to the internet. It's also the case that the SCADA systems were sometimes connected to the manufacturer systems which allowed for remote debugging and <coughs> uh, remote maintenance so that the systems could be up updated directly, new versions could be introduced. What this meant was that these systems were now accessible to the world. Because they could be accessed through the internet, they were now vulnerable to external attack. And as I'll talk about in my next video, there's real concern over the security of SCADA systems and the risks that we face in our critical infrastructure because of this. So what does the SCADA system do? Well, basically, it collects data from the PLCs and RTUs in the field. It displays that data, sometimes on a big screen, to operators. It obviously stores that data, it logs the activities that have, been go that have been going on, and it has the facility to issue commands to the individual PLCs in the field. This picture presents a, an, an architecture for a typical SCADA system, or really a generic SCADA system, because this doesn't take into account any of the domain-specific features that might be included because of the type of system that's being controlled. So we can see here that there, is a, there are the display elements. So there could be a big screen, which is shared and visible to all operators, and the individual operator terminals, where operators can see what's going on in the system as a whole, and where they can issue commands to change that. There's the communications element, which is used to communicate with the RTUs and the PLCs in the field. The main SCADA server is responsible for data presentation, for logging, for command and control, for sensor data management, for alarms, so that alarms are issued when things are perceived to be going wrong in the system so that operators can deal with it, and for report generation, which tells the operators of the system, what has been going on in the system. This is a SCADA system using an electricity control network. The big screen shows the state of the network as a whole. And you can see there are also individual operators terminals, which are used by controllers, perhaps for different geographic areas. From these terminals, they can call up more detailed information about the display and what's going on in their areas and they can issue commands to change the state of equipment. The big screen is important because it shows the network as a whole. It provides a way for operators to collaborate and to discuss how to solve problems. So if it identifies a problem in a particular part of a network, they can discuss how to reroute the transmission around that part so that people do have their electricity supply maintained. To summarise, SCADA systems are really important. They're critical systems that run our national infrastructure and consequently problems with these SCADA systems can have very widespread effects. It's essential to maintain the reliability and the security of the SCADA system so that we can maintain the integrity of our national infrastructure networks. Security is a particular concern in SCADA systems, particularly because there are some old systems around which have been developed before there was a focus on security. And that will be the topic of my next video. 
You can download the slides that accompany this video from my SlideShare account.